check out all this gunpowder. Look at this. So I did some AFK last time, or in between this episode and last episode, and yeah, I have got a lot. I've been trying to reorganize it so it spreads out a bit evenly. Yeah, we've got a lot of gunpowder, and as you can see, I've already made some rockets. Now, have I made them some rockets? Because I have a sugarcane farm over there, which I technically did on camera. It was in my bonus content episode on Patreon. Today, it's all about going to the end and getting shulker storage. But in here, because at the moment we have hardly anything. So I'm going to prep for the Ender Dragon fight first. Okay, so I think that should be enough. Now I need to find where the stronghold is. So everything seems to be indicating that it's down here in this section here. So I'm going to go digging around underground and see if we can find the stronghold. Alright, I would say this is the stronghold down here. Let's just get inside. There we go. We're in the stronghold. Now we've just got to find the portal if we can. I've put subtitles on as well, just so I can see if there's uh, silverfish. Oh, I found the library. I don't actually need any of the bookshelves, but there should be some loot here I can take, I believe. Hey, Smith and Templar eye armor trim. I'll take that. another library and another chest with another Smith and Templar eye armor trim I'll take that yeah, it looks like there's another one over there and another Smith and Templar with an eye armor trim I'll take that as well Right, I found it. It's down there. You can see it. There's the spawner for the silverfish. That means there's no other reason to search the rest of the stronghold. We're on a little island in the nether. And there's a bastion, it looks like. Nice. Uh, what's happened here? Why have I come back down here? This is not, not where I wanted to be. Take two. Right, let's try this again. Okay. We're back in the nether. And now let's see if we can connect to our stronghold portal again. Really? Hmm. That's annoying. There we go, I've made it back. Now, let's try for a third time. Alright. Surely, third time lucky, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, I've got to try and fix this then.
All right, so now I've got a third portal in this location. Ah, here we go, the obligatory Ender Dragon fight, which shouldn't actually be particularly difficult because it's the same fight every time, basically. I mean, the strategy is simple. Get to the top of one of these towers and then shoot all of the end crystals from up there. And then once I've done that, kill the dragon. There we go. Look at that. We go that's the dragon done it's become such an easy fight first time i ever beat that dragon was in hardcore and i was stressing out now i think it's a joke i can't particularly say i enjoy it when the, the portal is over the void but it is what it is Moment of truth. We're in. Right, now we just wait for everything to render in and see if we can see an end city. Uh, nothing. Okay, we're just going to have to go looking, see what we can find. If I just head off in that direction, eventually I'm going to come across an end city. I just have to go far enough. Without an elytra, I absolutely hate bridging over sections of the void. I just feel so vulnerable. Right, that looks like it's my first end city over there, but disappointingly, it doesn't look like it's got a boat. Unless if I'm mistaken, no, I'm not. So, um, I'm tempted to go there because there's going to be some shulkers. But, I say I'm tempted to go there, I'm going there. So I'll go there, grab the shulkers, and then we're going to try and see if we can see anything from the top of that end tower. Because we might get lucky. That's if I can get over to it. That's quite a distance. Right, there's our first shulker. Diamonds. And iron. Alright, so that's where we came from. That long line there. So, anything over here? Categorically, no. Absolutely nothing. I guess we keep trying. Oh, there's another one. And again, it looks like there's not a single boat on that one. So, that's uh, in city number two without an elytra. Still, while we're here, we might as well raid it, right? Ah, look at that. You see, that's a better end city over there. Well, I say it's better, but actually I can't see that it's got a boat. Maybe it's not as good as I thought. Where's all the boats today? Oh, look at this. Spire armor trim. Yeah, I'll take that. There is a couple of end cities I can see coming into view, and they look like large ones. And I'm hoping that means they're large enough there's going to be boats in them. Eventually, yes. Is that a boat? I think that's a boat. It's a boat. That's amazing. It means I can get the Elytra. And I never have to walk around again if I don't want to. And I've got enough blocks to get over there. I'm so happy. You know what? I don't even think I might raid the rest of the city. I'm just going to go there, <laughs> pick up the Elytra, probably just head back to base to enchant it. There it is, in all its glory. There we go, dragon head is now mine. Now, moment of truth. I 
Man, this feels so good. Ah, this feels so good to finally be flying again. And now, all I have to do is just follow my pathways through the void back, uh, back to the end gateway and back home. I completely forgot about the dragon egg. I don't think I have a torch, so I can't pick it up. I mean, I do have the coal all blocks, but I've got silk touch, so that's not going to help. I'll have to save it for another time. Still, it's there for when I need it. As long as it doesn't move, which I don't think it will. Ah, yeah, we're back here. Hmm. If I go over to my emeralds, pick up some of these. Then I go over to librarians, pick up some books, and now I just go through and look for the enchants I want for the elytra, which should just be the two. Mending and Unbreaking 3. Unbreaking 3 is here. And here's Mending. There we go. Now... Put it on, do some trading with these guys, and repair my tools. And Elytra. Now I just make the shulker boxes. Which is 11 for us. Alright, now it's time to go back to the end cities and try to get as many of these things as I can get my hands on. But first I'm actually going to have to make a road to the Stronghold Portal because I have no way of getting there or finding it. I mean, I do have a way of finding it. I have the coordinates that I've taken, but I don't have a way of just being able to run there like I do between the Trade Hall Portal and the other portal I use, which is... Uh, what portal is that? The Creeper Farm Portal. Wow, I've already forgotten. It's only last episode. I've already forgotten. Um, and it's not the X or the Y axes that really matters. It's only the Z and X axes, I believe. But I believe my Stronghold Portal is somewhere, somewhere around here. Wait, it's just here, actually. Is this it? Really? Is that is that how close it is? Wow, that's ridiculously close. Oh, I can just make it from... Oh, well, I'll just quickly bridge out very quick. Oh, in fact, what I will do, because at some point I want to make... Oh, fuck's sake. Get rid of you. Um, at some point I want to get rid of the different heights of the nether portals I have. Um, let me see. Where is it? I've lost it. There it is. So this seems like a pretty good height. Like, I could do it on the nether roof, but I probably won't because although it is much more convenient and I completely understand why people make it on the nether roof, I think I kind of like the terrain aspect of the nether. I want to make roads that cut through the terrain. I just think it will look cooler. So that's what I'm going to do. So I want to make a quick nether quartz road to and from this portal to the... Uh, the quartz road we have up there, the temporary. But at some point, I am going to fix the different heights of the nether portals and probably make them all about this height because this is what? 68, that's a pretty good height. Okay, so I'm coming up to like a couple of hours in and I think I'm probably done for end raiding to be fair because I've got more than what I actually 
intended to get all i really wanted if i can fix my cameras was to fill this entire ender chest that i have uh each slot of these with one shulker box right the 27 shulker boxes that is and that would basically allow me to carry everything i would need to have on me i'd have a lot of the shulker boxes dedicated to specific categories and then i'll have a few shulkers left over for storage for additional storage space you know and this is what I've got in my ender chest at the moment. I've got the nine shulkers from last time we came to the end, plus some items I just happen to have, like the smith and template we found in the stronghold, some diamonds, fireworks left over, uh, some form of lights in a lantern, blaze rod, just, just some random stuff. Then I have two more shulker boxes that I had collected. One of them is just with useful things I used to keep in my ender chest. As you can see, we have eyes of ender, uh, extra food, some iron and gold, some scaffolding, a smith Smith and Templar armor trim from our first visit to the end. My enchanted golden helmet for when we go to the nether. There's some obsidian. A uh, bed. And that sort of thing. And then over here, really, well, so, sorry, that was two. Plus these nine in here. So that's for looking at 11. So what, 27, 17, 18, 16. I only needed 16 shulker boxes left to, to sort of be happy with what I got. But I've ended up, this is what we've got. We've got 64 plus 32. That's what, 96, right? So what's half of that? 48, is that? Off the top of my head, 48 shulkers we've got. So that's more than enough shulker boxes. Plus I got three smithing uh, arm and tent, a little bit spire armor trims from the end city i've got five more elytras i've got you know more than a stack of iron and gold from this half stack of uh, diamonds some horse armor some dragon heads uh, the ender pose i didn't get here i actually brought them with me i just put them in the chest just to uh, fill the last remaining slot but yeah we've, we've done quite a lot uh well i say quite a lot we've got we've got what more than enough for this episode so i'm gonna pick them up probably heading back oh i also picked up look i brought one in the chest with me and now i have 10 so I've, I've managed to loot nine more ender chests so that's brilliant i'll probably dot them around the world in useful useful different places uh, where it's convenient for me and now i've just got to try and find where our end gate home is um i did take down the coordinates but i think it's a few thousand blocks away that's fine again this is probably the final stage of getting into the well i don't i don't say the late game but uh, allowing us to take our play into the next level because i think minecraft is is sort of split into different mm, categories oh hang on there's another end city ah oh, see this is the thing now i'm on the way home i'm probably gonna find a load more have i looted this one depends if it's got the dragon head it's got the dragon head i'm gonna have to pick up this elytra as well okay i'm just gonna quickly loot this end city so, as I was saying, uh, there are some more end cities actually, but I'm just going to ignore them now. I managed to pick up another two elytras and some more shulker shells. Anyway, but as I was saying, I feel like once you have good tools and good armor, the game massively opens up. And then the next, I would say, the next checkpoint for the game properly opening up is managing to increase your inventory size or storage space. And you do that through your ender chest. That's a big jump because that practically doubles your storage space and then you uh, you make the leap again by going up to shulker boxes because you can fit obviously the 27 shulker boxes within the end chest so you can pick up oh fuck another another end city maybe i should just loot another elytra should i but no then i don't know if i'm gonna get shulker shells when i come back here oh my fucking days there's another one i'll just pick up the elytras i can just make a shulker farm can't i at some point i'm pretty sure those things exist now don't they The reason for that, I think, is just makes so many uh, large-scale projects much more uh, available, be able to carry out right, because you don't have to go back and forth, back and forth carrying items. Like, for instance, I've got a full inventory right now, but I could, if I wanted, put all of them into a shulker box, and then my inventory would be cleared again. So it makes a massive difference having huge amounts of uh, storage or access to that sort of storage. Okay, so I'm back and I've updated uh, what we've got now because I've got a few more elytra. So we had the five and now we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten elytra. We still have, I don't know if we had two diamond uh, horse armor or we had three to begin with, but we've got three. And we've got some more diamonds. We've got some more gold and iron shulker shells. As you can see, we've got over two stacks now. So that's over a stack of shulkers. That should be what? 65 6 66 shulkers uh just off the top of my head uh our saddles are down here and we have some more iron horse armor so it's been a pretty uh productive or profitable trip out there now we just have to make all our shulker boxes
There we go, that's all the shulker boxes now laid out. And there's a lot more now that I look at them like this. I am very happy with this haul we've got here. Plus, obviously, the two we have over here as well, which I've just put those two into here. And then we've also got a remaining nine, which actually I'll just take them out now and I'll put them on the floor with the others. There we go. So now that's all of the uh, shulker boxes we have. There's quite a lot here, I've got to say. And now what are we going to do? We are going to go in search of lots of different flowers and sources of dye because I want to try and dye the shulker boxes that we have, different colours, so they're easily uh, identified within our ender chest because while they are easy enough to just label and identify like that it's just so much easier if you color identify them all right so now i have basically all the dyes i want i think i have everything i mean i've got what we've got 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 different ones i got black lime cyan purple orange white blue yellow red light gray brown light blue green dye and magenta actually now that i think about it i still need gray i believe i can get a gray mm, or is it dark gray there we go just normal gray okay now i think we now i think we have everything i think or even if we don't this should be enough magenta is that yeah all right so now what am i going to do uh let me see i will put all of these into here this shulker box like so and then what I'm going to do, I'll tell you what, I'll put the water in there and the arrows as well. In fact, no, I can keep the arrows. I'll just put the bed in there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up, apart from this one, I'm going to pick up 27 shulkers and then I should name them. I actually have a list of all of the shulker box categories I actually want to have. So I'm just referencing that. So I've done blocks. Now I'm going to be doing wood because everyone needs a wood shulker. And then what's next on my list? It looks like it is brewing. So this is going to be for all of my uh, everything I can use to. Oh, fuck's sake. Everything I need to actually brew the shulkers. In fact, I, I can describe them afterwards. I will quickly make another anvil yeah. and then I'm going to name all of them and then I will die then I will go through the different die and then I will probably just talk you through what shulkers we have now I'm going to put them all into my ender chest and I'm going to try and color code them and like make them into a spectrum of colors if I can something like that that should uh, that's pretty good but now I'm going to talk you through them yeah, it shouldn't take too long so we've got portals this is going to be anything for ender portals or nether portals primarily nether portals because those are the um, those are the portals i'm going to be using much more frequently so this is things like obsidian flint and steel things like that but i may have some uh, eyes of ender in there as well in case if i need to access other stronghold portals then i have smelting this is going to be things like furnaces and fuel for furnaces maybe even items i want to smelt who knows tools and weapons this is going to be for things like my elytras my swords my hose any other weapons that are my axes any other weapons that are not shovels because shovels have their own dedicated store like shulker box because i'm on some of the larger projects i just know i might end up going through like a lot of them and then i've also got pickaxes has its own dedicated shulker box as well because again i go through a lot of picks at pickaxes and i don't want to just repair one and then go back and then use that and then repair it again and then have to use it again and repair it i just want to have momentum so if i have a shulker full of fully enchanted diamond pickaxes or shovels or netherite if i get that far you know if i get that far i mean if i have the motivation to go and get it then you know that seems to be much better bone meal it is what it says on the tin right it's just bone meal lighting these are going to be things like uh, light source blocks or torches or lanterns food again just food for sustenance and then these ones are just i used to have maybe one or two shulker boxes for storage in my other like uh, series or other playthroughs of minecraft i've done but actually i find that a lot of the shulker boxes i have in my ender chest that i have like for dedicated things i used to have one for like tnt and blue ice and glass and stuff but actually i didn't use it that much and if i did use that sort of stuff like tnt and glass and stuff i normally needed more than one shulker box full because i seem to you know when i seem to want to build something or use a quantity of those things i always seem to need a lot so i just dedicated more shulker boxes to storage so then if i need those items i could just fill all of these with storage but it's temporary so that's quite nice so i've got the nine boxes for storage which is pretty good then i got brewing again that's going to be things like brewing stands and fuel for brewing stands and maybe the different items i would need for potions 
potions like nether wart or pufferfish for example for water breathing potions for potions themselves these are actually the brood potions themselves so potions of fire resistance potions of water breathing potions of slow falling of strength of weakness those you know you get the idea redstone those are going to be for redstone and redstone contraptions miscellaneous is yeah, it's just miscellaneous items things probably like uh, beds chests crafting tables maybe a dragon head here and there the dragon egg i don't know just things that maybe don't fit into the other categories but i want to still carry around on me beacons this is going to be for beacon blocks and the actual blocks that make up the beacons itself uh, like iron blocks or gold blocks or diamonds diamond blocks those sort of things or lapis you get the idea blocks uh, basically so i can make a beacon on the fly whenever i want to blocks these are it doesn't really matter what blocks go into these it's just more going to be like temporary blocks so if i need temporary blocks for building or for towering or for whatever i need to get across or bridging you know i have this available and it's going to be full to the brim of those types of blocks rockets again this is for firework rockets because when you have the elytra you use a lot of these and i'm going to be constantly using this so i'm going to have this full to the brim of rockets scaffolding again scaffolding just makes it so much easier for building i found that out actually now having used it this episode was it this episode no it wasn't this episode it was last episode with a creeper farm it, it, you know that was great for getting up and down to my afk platform or just making my afk platform ender pose i just think it's nice to have ender pose on you and then wood because you always need wood no matter what stage of the game if it's early mid or late you need a lot of wood so i'm going to be carrying a shulker box dedicated for wood as well and that's pretty much it for this episode i feel like we've done another stage of progression and i'm pretty much exactly where i need to be now in terms of filling up the shulker boxes i'm probably going to do that on a bonus episode i'm going to be putting on out on patreon if you did like this video then uh, give a like and subscribe and turn the notifications on because i think as all youtube channels do when you subscribe to them the notifications are turned off so you can never actually tell when a new video is out anyway that's going to be it from me so uh all right